Why don't we tell secrets at the farm? Because the potatoes have eyes, the corn has ears, and the beans stalk. Welcome everyone to our exploration of the Whole30 diet. Do you ever feel like you need a reset? Maybe you've been indulging in too many treats, or perhaps you're simply curious about what exactly this Whole30 diet has to offer. Either way, you're in the right place. At its core, Whole30 is a dietary reboot a 30-day commitment to consuming only whole foods to refresh your body and refocus your eating habits. Picture it as a detox, a way to bid goodbye to processed junk and welcome the nourishment of natural produce. For half an hour today, we will dissect the elements of Whole30, delve into the scientific research that backs it, and guide you through a regular day while adhering to this diet plan. From seasoned Whole30 aficionados to those who've just stumbled upon this diet, everyone will gain something from our discussion. After all, Whole30 is not just about the contents on your dinner table, but also about the impact it has on your health and wellness. Let's not dilly-dally any longer. Let's dive into what Whole30 is and why it's trending. Whole30, it's not a new dance move, it's a diet plan. Now you may be wondering, what's the big deal about this new diet? Let me enlighten you. As someone who is health conscious and always looking for ways to improve their lifestyle, you've likely encountered numerous diet programs. Among these, one that has been making waves is the Whole30 diet plan. Now, you might be asking what exactly is Whole30 and why is it named so? The Whole30 diet is a 30-day dietary program intended to overhaul your eating habits and overall nutrition. It is essentially a nutritional reset, a transformative journey that aims to help you eliminate potentially harmful foods from your diet, replacing them with healthier whole food alternatives. The name Whole30 is derived from the two critical elements of the program, consuming whole, unprocessed foods for 30 days. Intriguing, isn't it? Let's delve deeper. The Whole30 Diet Program encourages you to eat real, unprocessed foods. This means fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats are your go-to choices. However, it's not just about what you can eat. It's equally about what you should avoid. For a span of 30 days, you must bid goodbye to processed foods and sugars, both artificial and natural. Also, grains, legumes, dairy, and alcohol are strictly off limits. No bread, no cheese, and no wine for an entire month. Now you must be thinking, why would anyone voluntarily give up these foods? Here's the reason. These food groups could be negatively impacting your health and fitness without you being aware of it. By eliminating these foods from your diet for a month, you're essentially conducting an experiment on your own body, giving it a clean break. Once the 30 days are over, you're not expected to continue this restrictive diet. Instead, you gradually reintroduce these foods back into your diet, observing how your body reacts to each. This systematic process enables you to identify any foods that your system may not agree with, allowing you to tailor a diet that best suits your body, thereby optimizing your Whole30 isn't just a diet. It's a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. It's about learning to listen to your body and understanding how different foods affect you. It's about gaining control over your nutrition and consequently your health and well-being. It may sound challenging because it is. It is a commitment that demands discipline and perseverance. But there's a reason for this madness. Now, let's put on our lab coats and dive into the science behind Whole30. The Whole30 isn't just any diet. It's a comprehensive nutritional program designed to recalibrate your eating habits, eliminate your reliance on stress eating, and drastically reduce cravings for sugar and carbs. The underlying premise is that certain food groups might be affecting your health and fitness negatively without you being aware of it. Let's conceptualize our bodies as smoothly operating machinery. Food serves as the fuel this machine. But importantly, not all fuels are equal. Some categories, like processed foods and sugars, could burden our system, while others, like whole foods, assist in its smooth operation. When we ingest processed foods, sugars, and certain fats, our bodies react by producing inflammation. This inflammation can instigate an array of issues spanning from digestive troubles to skin conditions and potentially chronic diseases. Whole30's approach targets these problem foods, eliminating them for a full 30 days. This creates an opportunity for your body to reset and recover. The expected outcome? A reduction in inflammation and often an enhancement in overall health. However, Whole30 isn't just about subtracting from your diet. It also emphasizes what you should add. The program accentuates the significance of consuming whole foods, foods that are unprocessed and unrefined. These foods, rich in essential nutrients like vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, feed our bodies and keep them performing optimally. 
When you focus on whole foods, you're fueling your body with top-tier sustenance. This can result in benefits like increased energy, improved sleep latency, enhanced digestion, and a heightened sense of well-being. Another unique facet of Whole30 is its attention mental health. It promotes mindful eating, taking time to appreciate and relish your food, rather than thoughtlessly snacking in front of the television. This can help foster a healthier relationship with food, heightening your awareness of what you're consuming and why. It teaches you to be conscious of the fuel you choose for your body and the effects it has on your overall health. So Whole30 is all about giving your body a reset, but what does this diet look like on a day-to-day -day basis? Imagine waking up and not reaching for that sugary cereal. That's a day on Whole30. Now, this. Your day on Whole30 commences with a flavorful breakfast, a scrumptious spinach and mushroom omelet complemented by slices of fresh avocado. The emphasis is on whole foods, pure and nutrient-rich, that effectively fuel your day. As the morning unfolds, hunger may strike, but there's no reason to panic with Whole30. What about a refreshing apple topped with almond butter? This is not merely gratifying, it's an amalgamation of essential vitamins and heart-friendly fats. As we transition to lunch, visualize a colorful salad, a medley of crisp leafy greens, succulent grilled chicken, and a spectrum of fresh vegetables. Enhance it with a homemade dressing of olive oil and lemon. This isn't just a meal, it's a culinary journey, an exploration of flavors and textures, simultaneously supplying your body with necessary nutrients. What about those afternoon cravings? With Whole30, they cease to plague you. But if you need a little lift, a handful of nuts or crunchy carrot sticks paired with homemade guacamole should do the trick. Wholesome, straightforward, and completely palatable. As the day paves the way for the evening and the sun dips low, it's time for dinner. Picture a succulent, pan-seared salmon drenched in fresh lemon juice, a portion of oven-roasted sweet potatoes, and a helping of steamed broccoli. This meal is comforting and fulfilling, perfectly aligning with the Whole30 philosophy. And for those after-dinner dessert cravings, if you yearn for something sweet, satisfy it with a serving of fresh berries. They are, after all, nature's dessert. You see, a day on Whole30 isn't a dull, repetitive parade of flavorless meals. It's an exciting celebration of natural, unprocessed foods that are not only pleasing to the palate, but also beneficial to your health. It's about rekindling the joy of home cooking and the satisfaction derived from consuming foods that genuinely nourish you. Whole30 may be strict, but it certainly doesn't mean boring meals. Before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below. It's a small step for you, but a giant leap for our community. Your action signals your enjoyment of our content and helps extend our reach to more health-conscious individuals. Additionally, it's the most effective method to keep up with our new videos. Perhaps the upcoming one could be the missing piece to your health puzzle. Just between us, we always peruse your comments. Your inquiries, insights, and suggestions shape the content we create. So free to express yourself, share your culinary adventures and wisdom. Plus, the description box below contains a treasure trove of information, including our top health product picks. Be sure to explore it. Now back to Whole30. How do you successfully complete 30 days? Success on Whole30 requires planning, dedication, and a bit of creativity. So let's take a detailed look into some effective strategies to help guide you on this path to wellness. Firstly, the practice of meal prepping should become your personal ally in this endeavor. This journey is not just centered around the act of eating, but more importantly, it focuses on consuming the right kind of foods. Every week, carve out some time specifically dedicated to planning your meals. This initiative will not only save you considerable time and avoid unnecessary stress throughout the week, but it will also guarantee that you are consuming balanced, nourishing meals that completely align with the Whole30 guidelines, thus ensuring your success. Secondly, we're going to discuss the importance of reading food labels meticulously. You may be taken aback by how many products surreptitiously include additives and sugars. Be that label detective, scrutinizing for concealed sugars, preservatives, and other non-compliant ingredients. Whole30 emphasizes the consumption of whole, unprocessed foods. If you find yourself unable to pronounce an ingredient, it's probably best to place it back on the shelf and move on to a healthier alternative. Next, we delve into the vital aspect of maintaining motivation. Staying consistently motivated can indeed be a challenge, particularly when obstacles arise. But bear in mind, this is more than a diet. It's a holistic journey to improved health and overall well-being. 
Keep your focus on the ultimate goal. Surround yourself with a strong support system, whether that's a supportive friend, an online Whole30 community, or a daily note reminding you of your reasons for embarking on this journey. Small daily affirmations can play a significant part in keeping you committed. It's okay to falter. If you slip up, don't be disheartened. Get up, dust yourself off, and continue moving forward. You are striving for progress, not absolute perfection. Take each day as it comes and revel in your small victories along the way. Lastly, and most importantly, pay attention to your body. Whole30 doesn't endorse a one-size-fits-all approach. What works perfectly for one individual might not be the ideal fit for another. Be attuned to how different foods affect you and make adjustments as needed. With these tips, you're well on your way to conquering the Whole30. Immerse yourself in the adventure of discovering novel foods, establishing new habits, and unveiling a newer, healthier version of yourself. Remember, this is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. All it requires is a dash of preparation, a whole lot of perseverance and unwavering positivity. And you can conquer this. You've got this. You've made it through 30 days, now what? This question reverberates in the thoughts of every Whole30 warrior after they've achieved the first hurdle. An excellent query indeed. The Whole30 program doesn't claim to be a rapid solution or a fleeting diet trend. It's essentially a stepping stone leading towards a healthier and more balanced lifestyle. So what's the next step after you've dedicated a full month to eliminate processed foods, sugars, grains, dairy, and legumes from your diet? The journey continues beyond that. The days and weeks succeeding the Whole30 demand equal dedication and mindfulness as the diet itself. This ensuing stage is often referred to as the reintroduction phase. During this phase, you'll gradually reintroduce the food groups you've omitted from your diet. This controlled, step-by-step -step approach enables you to gauge how your body responds to various food categories. However, it's essential to remember, reintroduction doesn't imply indulging in a tub of ice cream or feasting on a pizza at once. Primary focus here is to reintroduce these foods progressively, one at a time. For instance, you might consider reincorporating dairy into your meal plan for a few days initially. Observe how your body responds. Are you feeling bloated or sluggish? Or perhaps you don't notice any adverse effects. This phase is all about discerning what suits your body and what doesn't. This is your opportunity to develop a personalized nutrition blueprint that supports your long-term health and wellness. And once you've successfully navigated the reintroduction phase, it's time to sustain these newfound healthy eating habits. This isn't about adhering to stringent rules or restrictions, but about fostering a balanced and sustainable way of eating that nourishes your body. Whole30 isn't merely about altering your diet for a limited period of 30 days. It's about transforming your relationship with food. It's about acknowledging the influence of different foods on your health and making educated choices that promote your well-being. Whole30 isn't just a diet, it's a lifestyle shift. And remember, check the description box below for our recommended health products, because the journey towards a healthier you is a lifelong adventure, and we're here to support you every step of the way. Whole30 may be a challenge, but the potential health benefits are worth it. Today, we're diving deep into Whole30, a transformative dietary program that stretches over 30 days. This innovative program isn't merely a diet, but a holistic bodily and mental reset. Imagine pressing the refresh button on your body's nutritional settings. That's what Whole30 does. The strategy behind Whole30 is simple yet effective. Consume wholesome, nutritious foods while eliminating processed items and those laced with added sugars. No, no alcohol, grains, legumes, or dairy. It's a clean slate for your body. We've explored the scientific foundation of Whole30, digging deep into its mechanics. We've also evaluated the potential advantages it carries for your well-being. By cutting out particular food groups temporarily, your body gets a chance to recuperate from any possible negative impacts they might have been causing. The program aids in pinpointing any food sensitivities or intolerances which can result in a boost in energy levels, enhanced digestion, clearer skin, and potentially weight loss. We've taken you through a day in the life of Whole30, presenting a plethora of scrumptious meals that you can relish. Remember, the isn't about deprivation, it's about fueling your body with healthy, nutritious foods. We've provided practical tips for triumph, such as comprehensive meal planning, reading food labels, and leveraging the support of the Whole30 community. Remember, preparation and planning are your best allies in this journey. Next, we've explored what comes after Whole30. The reintroduction phase is crucial. It's when you'll ascertain how each food group interacts with your body, empowering you to make informed dietary choices. 
Whole30 might seem like a daunting task to undertake, but remember that the view from the peak is worth the climb. It's not solely about the digits on the weighing scale, but about feeling rejuvenated, energetic, and healthier in a comprehensive sense. Lastly, don't forget to check the description box for our recommended health products, which can prove to be valuable resources in your Whole30 journey. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.